Uncensored presenter Piers Morgan has taken to Twitter to fume at Jacob Rees-Mogg following his interview with Naga Munchetti on BBC Breakfast today. The former Good Morning Britain presenter, 57, DIDNT hold back when it came to sharing his views on what the Minister of State for Brexit thought about Partygate, following the update from the Met earlier this week. In view of his 7.9 million followers, Piers raged at the Conservative politician following his appearance on the BBC Morning Show, branding him so b asterisk asterisk y arrogant. It comes as BBC Breakfast hosts Naga was interviewing Rhys Mogg over the issue of Party Gate after it was reported that the Met Police have issued over 100 fines. Naga asked the politician, do these fines, more than 100, reflect well on this Conservative government? Rhys Mogg replied, I'm afraid I think this is a non-story. The BBC's absolutely loved it, but what is important is that we get on with the business of governing, before being cut off by the BBC host. I'm sorry, Naga cut in, why do you think this is a non-story? She went on, have you not heard people genuinely, upset, devastated, that people in Downing Street thought it was okay to break the rules that they set, while other people didnt break the rules and missed out on meeting dying family members? The MP replied, I think people were upset, I think this was an important story in February when it first became known and that there was great concern. There was a feeling of people who were bereaved particularly, about it. I also think we need to look in the inquiry at the rules to see whether they were proportionate. He went on, I met a couple in Stoke-on-Trent yesterday where the cabinet went as you know who helped people with baby loss and they were saying how cruel it was that fathers weren't able to be present at the birth of their children, particularly obviously if it was a stillbirth. We need to look at whether these rules were right in the first place in case we ever have a pandemic again because I think they were too restrictive. I think not allowing people to provide comfort to the dying was a mistake. It was a mistake made for good reason because we were very worried about the pandemic at the time. But we do need to look at that, we should never do that to people again, he finished. Following Piers' tweet, social media users flocked to the comments to weigh in on the debate. One Twitter user at Mr245116 was quick to deliberately misconstrue his tweet as having referred to BBC's Naga, writing, she is. However, it wasnt long before social media followers hit back, with a piplup used surf penning, oh how quick and witty of you. How many minutes did it take for you to come up with that absolute killer retort? Defending the MP, at Andy and Salford added, H is right though, let's move on now. However, at Genesis underscore Meta disagreed, replying, how can you move on without any accountability for serious breaches of the ministerial code and the law in government?